everyone, Samantha here. In today's video, I'm taking Miss Bo Peep here in her pop vinyl Funko character, uh, Miss, and we're gonna give her a little bit of a makeover. She currently doesn't have anything on her right now. These are one of the pop vinyl characters that you can paint yourself. And I thought, you know, what would be something really cool, really unique to do with Bo Peep? Make her goth. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's jump in and get started. So let's start off by taking a look at Bo Peep. She is the Pop Disney 727 character, Bo Peep. She's the DIY version, which means we can do her up however we please. As you can see here, they kind of give you some colors to go off of to be like, these are their colors, you should paint them. No, we're not doing that. There's a couple of different other uh, pop vinyl paint your own characters. I originally saw this idea from Chloe Rose. She got the Simba. She hasn't painted it yet, but she just got one. And I was like, ooh, I'm totally gonna grab one. So I grabbed the Bo Peep and yeah, there's also Dumbo. So if you wanna do Dumbo, there you go. There's your third one that you have. So yeah, let's just get her out of the box. I haven't even opened her yet. Okay. Gonna go down there box. Look, oh, she looks so beautiful and ready to be painted. She feels like she already has some type of gesso on her, which is good because I was wondering whether or not I needed to get my gesso out, but I don't think that I would need to. Like she feels like she's kind of already and good to go. So let me show you the design that I have for her. Like I said, she's going goth. So, you know, get ready for the gothness. All right, so here she is. She's looking very goth in this design, I must say. So we have black where there would be like blue and then we have a dark pink that will kind of be like the main color. And then we have some light grays. You know, her hair I thought would be good, kept the same, but I decided that I'd throw a little bit of homage into this new look by having some of the blue that you would find on her originally kind of streaked into her hair and like highlighted on her eyelashes. Like, oh, this is gonna be so cool. I'm like, just looking at this, I'm just really excited and can't wait to see like this onto here. So without further ado, let's get to painting. So for this, I'm going to be using Arteza's Arts and Crafts paint. I used this in a previous video, which I'll link up here for you. They were really great to work with the first time and I'm super excited to work with a little bit more brighter colors this time. So we've got some pink here. Here's our black, all red. We've got our blue, like this is the Bo Peep blue. If I had ever seen one, maybe some white. The koala, wait, koala gray or silver? We'll have both of them out. Do I want this? You know, take that blue out too. Put this off to the side. Oh, I forgot the yellow. Lemon yellow, still lemon yellow. All right, now that we have all the colors, let's start. What do we want to start with? Dark pink, let's just do dark pink. This is a pretty pink as it is. Oh, I forgot, I have to take off the tags of the ones that I haven't used. Oh. All right, hopefully the next time I get these Artezas out, I will have done all the colors that I'm gonna use in the actual video. You know, third time's the charm. Got our pink here. Oh, that's a lovely, lovely pink. Let's see, is this gonna be? Yeah, that's gonna be a good brush. All right, here we go. This is a new thing on the channel. What if you like to see me give pop Funko vinyl characters like complete makeovers? Would you be interested in that? Let me know down in the comments below. Like, is there a how it's made video for pop vinyl figurines? If so, I'd love to see it. If I find it before I publish this video, I'll link it in the description if I find it. But um, if you find one or you know of one, link me in the comments as well, because I'd be really interested to know. Smaller brush time. This is a small brush. Look at the tiny brush. Look at it, so tiny. You're looking good, ma'am. Ooh, should I paint these little parts pink as well? Yeah, let's make the ruffles pink too. Look who's just sleeping over there while I paint this thing. She's looking good, if I do say so myself. This paint dries so quickly. I love, 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 love this paint. It's just like dry and then you're like, cool, I can move on to the next thing. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do a second coat of pink, I'll say. Next, let's do a little bit of silver, blue, black. Let's do black. 
going in with some fine details here. Okay, I think that's all I wanna do of the black so far. I know I'm gonna have to do a second coat, but I wanna get some of these other colors on here first, like the silver. You see here, on her regular thing, she has like some crisscrossies going across and whatnot. I thought they would have it here, but it looks like you'd have to do it yourself. So I may not do that. It looks so hard. But anyways, let's do some silver. You can kind of see the silver a little bit, but I'm hoping with the second, third, fourth coats, that will come out a bit better. Back of the shirt should probably also be silver. Cause you see, I did the front of her, but I didn't really consider what the back of her should be and look like. Maybe we'll make that a gray. Like, let's do like a silver gray for like the back. The silver dried a bit more silvery, so that's good. So I guess I'll go ahead and give the silver a second coat. Hopefully it will shine a bit brighter. And uh, yeah, then move on. All right, so now that that second coat of silver is on, it is looking a bit better, which is great. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the hair next. Give me some bright colors. Whoop. There we go, that's a very, very nice contrast, I feel like. And I think it's like nearly the exact same color that her regular hair is. So, you know, keeping some of the same stuff for the original, which is good, which is good. She's coming along so well. I'm very excited on how she's turning out so far. Now, just because this video is getting a bit long, why don't I save you some time and I'll go ahead and do the final details, like putting the outline around her bonnet, her eyes, the blue eyeshadow, the streaks in her hair. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. And then I'm just gonna touch this up off camera and just some final little details but here it is, the final reveal. That is it for today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. I absolutely love how our Bo Peep turned out. I think she turned out a little bit more punk than goth, but I'm completely okay with that. She looks amazing. I love how I was able to turn my drawing and vision into what you see here. So let me know how you think she turned out. Let me know if you would do anything differently. And let me know if you would like me to do more of these pop vinyl figurine makeovers. Now that we have a Bo Peep that's punk, does she need a punk Woody? Does she need black sheep? I don't know, you tell me in the comments below. While you're down there doing that, be sure to do all those other things on YouTube that I know you know how to do in 2021. And remember, the door is always open for imagination and creativity. 
I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!